What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Majora's Mask. Last time, we took on the Snowhead Temple and freed the second giant by killing the evil mechanical bull goat. And right off the bat, immediately, I want to go back to Snowhead because we need to turn in those fairies we got for our magic upgrade. So let's go back to Snowhead real quick. Which I'm pretty sure is still covered in snow. I don't think Snowhead actually unfreezes over because I think it's always been frozen over. Oh no! That's interesting. You know, I actually don't remember when I actually went to Snowhead after beating it. Because usually what I do is I turn in the fairies right after leaving the dungeon. Because the, the fairy fountain to turn in the fairies is right here by the dungeon. But because the video is already an hour long, I just kind of stopped playing. But yeah, no. Okay. So it is still snowing. Alright. Let's go turn in these fairies, though. Oh, wise young one, I am the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. You're gonna see our magic goes up by a lot. Yeah, that's a huge upgrade. And it's definitely needed. And we don't really need to read what she says, because she just says, Oh, we'll find the other fairy fountain things. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so immediately, I want to head back to Clock Town and cash in our rupees and reset the game. Go back to the first day, which will save it, by the way, obviously. And then, um, yeah, and then I'm probably, yeah, we're just going to grind for rupees and then go get the thing we need for, you know. The, the rupees, I guess. I don't know what to say. Uh, song. Wait, nope. Do not song up time yet. We need to turn these in. Yeah, because that 200 rupee reward I keep talking about, where when you turn 200 rupees into the bank, you get that. Oh, darn it. You get that wallet upgrade that lets you carry 200 rupees. Um, yeah. We're gonna go get the reward for that, so you're just gonna watch me grant for rupees. Which actually won't take long when you think about it. Because I already have a bunch in the bank. I already have like 24. Because I reset time without saving the bank, which probably wasn't a good move on my part, but I don't really care. But this episode is going to have stuff in it, trust me. We're going to go do something that re requires the, um, the Ruby 200 upgrade, so trust me, you're not just going to watch me grind rupees the whole episode. What? I can't... Um... Oh, I... I'm stupid. I put it in the 100 spot. Yeah, we're already at 123. We're, we're doing good. Right, A down. Aha, I knew it. I said it in my head before looking. I'm getting back in the swing. I'm telling you guys. Please don't mess anything up. I'm going to carefully bring the computer closer to me because, like I said in an earlier episode, I'm actually looking at my computer I'm playing because the colors are brighter on there. So yeah, I'm, my TV is right there. You can't see it, but I'm not paying attention to it at all. This Let's Play isn't almost over. There's still a lot of stuff to do. We still obviously have two whole areas. So it's down a right. There we go. No, but um, I was thinking when this let's play is over, I might do Banjo Kazooie next. 
I can do Bungie Kazooie. I can do my. Uh, I don't know. See, I don't want to do a Mar Mario game. You can do Banjo Kazooie as an option. Yeah, I'll probably do Banjo. I can do Banjo Kazooie. I can do Super Metroid. There's lots of games I could do. I might actually do, um. What's it called? I can't think right now. Actually, no. Why, why would I think Breath of the Wild? I'm I'm playing a Zelda game right now. I'm not doing two Zelda Let's Plays back to back. Okay, yeah. I already have 123 rupees, so this won't take long at all. Especially since these bushes are constantly farmable as well, which is really nice. And they also know where to get more rupees from. There's a uh, over by where Snowhead is. There's a big rupee thing you can get. I was thinking maybe once we hit, like, I'll just grind till 99 so we have enough left over. Yeah, this is, see, this isn't taking long at all, right? 37. You, okay. Plus, I'm getting supplies while doing this, too, so it's not a complete waste of my time. Actually, I'll probably just stop at, like, 60 or something. I don't think I need all. Yeah, I don't need the number. Yep, the rupee. That was worth going for. Alright. Bit more rupe a couple more rupees. Come on. Fifty-one. Oh, I heard that bomb chew. Nice. Alright, nothing really much to talk about right now. Give me that, 59. There we go, I found myself 60. Alright. Let's just run back to Clock Town then, real quick. Oh. You have the heart? Oh, that was nice. Go oh, put him away. Okay. Let's do the uh, speedrun strat of walking backwards real fast. Oh, no. I just noticed that there's Triforces on these pillars, which is kind of weird because this is an alternate reality where Triforce doesn't really exist. Huh. Well, there's that stuff which I'll get into at the end of the game with one of the final dungeons being like connected in a way with the Triforce. It's weird. There's that like theory thing. Go so. we'll deposit these. 123 plus 60. I don't feel like doing the math right now. I just got done doing math homework actually. So, um, that's enough. Pretty sure it is. Better be. I should be like one off. Please be enough. Okay. Close enough. I'll take it. I don't want to talk to you again. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We can go get... Yeah, 183. That's fine. I don't even know what, to, what I'm going to call this episode. Like, you know, groupie grinding and then getting, you know, the thing we're about to get. With this reward. Oh wait, I, I just thought of another thing we can get in this episode. There's two mandatory items that we're gonna get, actually. So cool, this isn't gonna be, it just really isn't gonna be a constant rupee grind. Oh. 
I, I, I know I haven't, I just want to feed after it. I'll stop at 30. I always thought it was weird that Termina, the Termina Field music, was the uh, Legend of Zelda theme remixed, and Hyrule Field from Ocarina of Time was his own original song. That was always weird to me, I don't know why. It doesn't bother me, it's just kind of strange. It feels like it should be the other way around. Actually, it doesn't feel like it should be the other way around, because the alternate world, the Hyrule, shouldn't have Hyrulean music playing in its main area. But, I'm left to deposit 36 rupees. Nope, that's not enough. That was too much, and too little. Sensitive stick again. One, two, three. Nice. There's our rupee upgrade. And now I actually want all my rupees back. So. Oh, uh, yeah, withdraw. Fire arrows on, and we are going back to the um, going back to the mountain village at Snowhead because I'm gonna repeat that because I leaned back and I'm not sure if you heard me. We are going to go back to the mountain village at Snowhead because we need to go do a um, little quick mini side quest mission thing there, which will let us get into the area that will give us one of the two mandatory items we're getting today. As you can see, we reset time and Snowhead's frozen over again. This game is just satisfying to play. You know what I love about this game? It's art style. I think that's what really draws me into this game. It's just, it looks so different from Ocarina of Time. It's like the outlines are thicker. It looks like you're playing like a comic book almost. It's, it, I don't know how to describe it. I, I don't read manga, obviously. Just, you know, I'm not a weeb. But, um... It, it looks like you're playing an actual manga. Which I think... F I haven't read it, but from what I've seen online, from, like, theory videos using it and stuff, the actual Majora's Mask manga just looks like one-to-one. -one, it just looks like sc colorless screenshots of the game. You know, minus the fact that it's polygons and blocky. But, yeah, this game's art style is really, really good. It's, it's held up well. That's the problem with Ocarina of Time. I'm not knocking it, I love that game. But it's art style, it was way over the direction. There's some characters that look realistic, and then there's some characters that are more stylized with like the big anime eye things. But this game ha clearly had one coherent style, and it makes it a lot better. It's just one of the many reasons. Hello, sir. So this guy sells powder kegs, but in order to buy one, we have to complete a mission where we have to go blow up a boulder that is blocking the Goron racetrack with one to prove ourselves worthy. So if I can grab this. Everyone says this mission is difficult. It's not. It's not hard. I do not know where the notion of this mission being insanely difficult came from. Like, the Angry Video Game Nerds video on this, for example, he goes, I mean, he doesn't like the game in general. He goes on about this thing. There's like a 10 minute section. Like a five minute part of his video of this game where he just goes on about how, like, he, like, obviously he plays it up because, you know, he's the angry video game nerd. He's, he's meant to be angry at everything. 
But you can tell he's clearly frustrated in, like, an actuality with it. And I don't know why. I just don't know. And I've seen thousands upon hundreds of people complaining about how hard this powder kick mission is. It's not difficult. It's not hard, because he tells you exactly where to go. He might as well put a marker on your map. Look, we're, we're already over halfway there. So you gotta bring this powder keg. And even if you get hit by an enemy, you don't drop it, you just take the damage, so you can just walk right past them. You gotta take it up here. This is it. This is the final stretch. I Watch me die now, because I dropped it. Or watch me fail at the mission now. Sorry if you heard that again, that was my computer. There, boom, done. You can shoot it with an arrow to speed it up, actually, if you don't want to wait. Boom, there you go, it's done. We don't, you don't even have to go in there. That's it, that's the powder keg mission, that's all it was. I don't know why people think that's so difficult. Of course I fall off immediately after, which is my luck. I would like a magic refill. Still the first day, that's good. We need it to be the first day, actually. If it's not, we're kind of screwed. So, we actually kind of need to speed it up here a little bit. Okay. Get down there. And he will give us one for free. I grabbed the 200 rupees because I forgot that he gives you one for free. And you can buy them from the bomb shop for 200 rupees. Um. Alright, so we gotta go back to Clock Town. Actually, I guess having the 200 rupees isn't a bad thing. Because we do actually have to pay for something later. So if we head back to Clock Town, we're actually gonna go to a new area on the map. That we haven't been to before. It's a very small area, it's comprised of two mini sections. Mini areas, I guess I'll call them. And we're gonna get to go on a roll across Terminator Field, so that's like the best part. I, I want them to remake this game for Switch. They're already putting it on there with the NSO thing that sometime this month. I don't know when though. They're doing a Nintendo Direct tomorrow too. It's, it's, it's gonna already pass, but as the time of this, of this video being recorded. Which is Tuesday in February. Um, yeah, they're doing one tomorrow, so I, I hope there's some Breath of the Wild 2 news. That'd be awesome. There'd be some Metroid Prime 4. But here we are at Milk Road. Which we're never gonna come back to ever. Actually, that's not true. That's not true at all. It's a lie. We're gonna come back here once. We're gonna come back here once. Actually,. I think next episode we're probably gonna come back to here. Or at least the episode after this episode. So next, next episode. So we get the powder keg out. Drop. We don't need fire arrows anymore, so. There we go. song so I mean you're gonna see what the big upgrade item thing is here in a second and I want to actually talk about it actually I'll wait to talk about it because there's some dialogue we have to do look look isn't that your horse Yay, we found- so, obviously, the upgrade's Epona. And, 
there's no evidence to it, and it's probably not true, because Epona recognizes Link here. But I have a theory, and it's darker. It's kind of a dark theory, but this game is already dark, and as the darker this game gets, the more I'm going to like it. I have a theory. It's just a headcanon. There's no evidence to it at all. I 100% do not believe it's true, because there's no evidence at all to repeat again. I have a theory, my, to my headcanon, that Skull Kid actually did kill Epona at the beginning of the game, and this is just Epona's high term Termanian counterpart. It's obviously not true, because Epona recognizes Link right away, but I, I just still like it. I think it's I think it's a cool idea. We're gonna talk over to Romani here, and your dialogue is not important at all. I'll read it, I guess. I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. What's your name? Link? That's a nice name, but... How about Grasshopper? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes, and so, and you patter, <laughs> I can't read, and you patter about when you walk, so grasshopper it is. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight, they are coming. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna have to explain this. They, they come at night, every year when the carnival approaches. Come riding in a bright, shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And then they come to the barn. My older sister won't believe me, but Romani must protect the cows. Hey, Grasshopper, I'm recruiting for an assistant right now. You're a boy, won't you try? So, basically, your eyes didn't deceive you. Majora's Mask is a Zelda game with aliens in it. Aliens who come down and try to steal cows. This game... I think Ajeon Numa was on something when he made this. And I want some of it, because this game is... There's just so, many weird, it's just so much weird stuff. Why is there aliens in a Zelda game? <laughs> Basically, we just have to do target practice by riding on Epona's back. Basically, it's, just a, it's, a, it's a tutorial on how to ride Epona and how to use the bow while on horseback. Nice. Not sure how that hit at all. Yeah, dude's under two minutes. We're actually on a really good pace right now, so. Oh, the, the fence, of course. Right as I say that, too. Get it? Oh, that's not good. Hold on, you want to stop for a second. Turn. A minute, and I think we got it. This is the last one, right? Yeah, ten. Good. That's great. You two are perfectly together. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two keep getting along. Go practice some more. Darn it, these stupid mistakes. <laughs> it happens every time. I always think I'm pressing down when I when, when I go to left or right. Alright, cool. It's a Pona song. The song of two who are bound by trust. AKA the song they ripped right from Ocarina of Time shamelessly. When your arrows hit these, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. 
they get in the barn, we lose. They run away at first light of the sun. So we'll have to fend them we'll have to keep fending them off. So basically we're gonna come back and do this later in the game, because the reward for this is something. But yeah, we have Eponum now. That's the first item. And then the second major item is that other path that's out here. We're gonna go get that right now and then end off the episode. Is that pathetic thing your horse? I would have guessed that little thing was a mule for sure. Ain't that right, little brother? Do you think a horse that pathetic would gallop if you pushed forward? Oh, yeah, that, that's weird. That always breaks my immersion. I always forget that they tell you how to use it on them. This guy's funny. Why don't you give us 10 rupees for a chance to race against us? If you win, we'll give you something nice, kid. Oh, race him. So, yep, yeah, so basically, you just gotta get in first. And our reward is obviously the mandatory. And I'm gonna cheat and do that, because if I fail, I don't want to keep wasting rubies, because we actually do need them for something later. Okay, good. Let's go. So you don't want to go, um, you don't want to use all the carrots at once, because if you do, Epona will take a longer time to, um, gain her stamina back, which means they'll get way ahead of you and you won't be able to catch up with them. So you just kind of want to use them sparingly and then spam them all at the end, that's my usual strategy here. Oh, please jump, okay. Ooh, that's a good jump, yep, yeah, good, good. Let's go, come on. Jump. Jump. Oh, he didn't jump. Oh, that hurts. Yep, I lost. Okay. Oh, man. That sucks. You gotta have enough speed for her to jump over the big ramp at the end. I didn't get it. Ouch. I'm glad Nintendo's adding this to the Switch, even though the NSO thing has not gotten the best crit critical review. Um, the fact that Nintendo didn't forget about the game entirely this year is awesome, because they pretend they they like to pretend this game doesn't exist, because they don't they don't like it. Nintendo doesn't like this game. Come on, that's not gonna count, is it? I don't think so. I can't do the hand thing. Yep. Okay. That. Ouch, that sucks a lot. Oh, 28 minutes. We're getting up there. Okay, uh, I need to get good real quick. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll probably do Banjo Kazooie next. Don't anticipate that. This let's play is far from over. So don't get your hopes up for that. Oh man, this is a really bad attempt. I just ran into that post. What if I just don't? What if I just try to dodge all these? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, I got a plan here. It's a little scummy though. Alright, I care. So you jump here, turn here, and then. Oh. Come on, Nicole. Dang. annoying. I hate this part. I hate the Gorman race. It's the worst part of the game, in my opinion, honestly. The fact that the reward is mandatory kind of sucks, especially because, you know, obviously racing isn't the 
the big is it is it like a big skill and or actually in any Zelda game except I guess Link's crossbow training, but that doesn't really count. Go! Please! Please! Oh, we did it, I think. I think that counted because they didn't go. They didn't. Oh, we got it. I can't believe we lost. Big bro, I wonder if we can give this to that guy. Oh, we gotta give him something. Well, what? He's a kid. What could he do with it? It should be fine. We got the Garros Mask, the wandering ninja spirits who appear at Ikana once more. This. In exchange, you can't tell anyone where you got this. So, new mask. It's not transformation mask, but it's kind of cool. I like it. Oh, man. You know what? I'm creating a suspend point right... No! No! Create. Create. Do not load. We're not... Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope, I'm not even talking about it. Okay. Just to make sure. Now I'm... Okay. Good. I like the girl's mask. It's probably my favorite non, um, this and the Don Garo's mask, which I was thinking about getting, but it's not worth it. I'm um, probably my two favorite masks that aren't actually, um, transformation masks. All right. So that's all we can really do. Next episode, we will go to the area, I guess. What is my commentary right now? Next episode, I will... I can't. Next episode, we're gonna go to the area that we need to get to by using Epona. There you go. I'm good at this. Okay, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.